Welcome to the first video from the new office in Prince George, British Columbia. Couldn't do much about the wood paneling, but I could, you know, double the size of my bookshelf, so that was awesome. Today we're going to talk about revolutionizing my mobile experience with Obsidian. Uh, two plugins that have just been awesome for it have really upped the game for Obsidian on my phone specifically, not necessarily on my iPad, because I, you know, as you can see behind me, I often have a keyboard with it, so it's not as much there, but definitely on my phone. Before we do that, a couple ways to support the channel. Become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership. Get all my courses there. Number two, uh, you can take one of my courses, curtismichael.ca slash education. You can just pick a course and take it. Or if you prefer Skillshare, there's actually links to all the courses on Skillshare below. If you already have a membership there, you can go watch it there if you already have a membership. Buckle up, let's talk about what has revolutionized my Obsidian experience on mobile. Now, a few weeks ago, I talked about the Slash Command plugin, and that has been excellent. Uh, and I even said at the time, I couldn't wait for it to show up on my mobile device. And so here it is on my mobile device on my phone. So how does this work? Uh, if I hit Slash, now I can do anything I want. I can say uh, Split if I wanted, right? And I could split uh, horizontally, makes the most sense here. Uh, you can even come back in here and I can say uh, Slash for Close Active Pane. And so what this is meant is when I'm taking notes on books, when I have my phone only, uh, sometimes when I'm waiting for a kid at an activity and I'm reading while they're swimming or I'm sitting in the car while they're doing this, so I can really actually take good notes on my phone uh, instead of, there's a lot of tapping around, a lot of working around, a lot of just things that weren't working really very well for me and that took way more uh, effort than they needed to. Um, because I didn't have the access to the slash command plugin. So that's one thing that has been excellent and you access that by going to your settings and it's a core plugin. So you hit search and you go slash and you can see slash commands. And so I've turned it on and that works. I use it far more on my um, phone than I use it on anywhere else. I don't really use it on my Mac. I don't really use it on my iPad. I use command P to access um, the same of the same commands from the command palette that I use in the slash menu uh, from my phone. Next up is the advanced mobile toolbar. And so to get to that, you go to your community plugins under your settings. We can browse and we say, uh, what is it, advanced? Advanced mobile toolbar. So I've already got it installed, but you click install here or touch install. And what this does is it gives you more options for your mobile toolbar, right? I can choose to always show the toolbar. So even if my keyboard is not shown, I can do that. I've upped it to two rows. So I saw two rows of um, items when I'm typing, I give it the column layout. I don't use that clearly because they're off. There's a whole bunch of different things you can do just to enhance the mobile toolbar for yourself. So what does this mean? So this means that at the bottom, you can see here in the lot bottom two rows, I've got just more options here. I can scroll back and forth and do things. And one thing that I've really loved is on the far left side, you can see this little arrow with a circle is the open. So then I can actually switch what I want uh, or switch the file I have open. So now you can see like this is my um, content calendar, right? I'm recording these two videos today, the mobile experience, which you're watching and the setting up my year video, which you'll be recording after. So now how did I get the open in there? That's the next question. I got the open in there by going to settings, going to mobile, and then uh, it says, you see at the top, quick switcher open link. And the way I got that there was all the way down at the bottom. I just searched for it. I went quick switcher. Now it's not gonna show up because I already have it in there, but you can use this to add anything. Quick add log book or new book. I could add as a something in the command palette. So I'd hit return and now it has now added that. Where does it add them? quick add log book, you can see it right here. So then I could, you know, move it around to wherever I wanted by grabbing it from this hamburger menu on the side, which is hard sometimes. Oh, there we go. And I could toggle it wherever I wanted. I don't actually want that one, so I will kill it because I actually would access that with the slash command plugin to log a book when I'm logging a book. Um, I usually would do that when I'm reading a book and it references a book, I will actually log the book that it is um, talking about. Um, so that I have it for later, because sometimes I've realized that there's a book been referenced in six different spots and I haven't read it yet, so I should. Now those two plugins are the ones that really helped me um, revolutionize my mobile experience for Obsidian. They were really helpful to me and they've made my phone so much more useful when I'm using the tool. That's it. 
If you enjoyed the video, thumbs up below, subscribe, hit the bell, YouTube will let you know something happened. If you want to support the channel, become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership. Take one of my courses, curtismichael.ca slash education. And if you have a Skillshare membership already, you'll find links to my courses below on Skillshare. Have a good one.